Published in 1986, Red Sorghum is a magical realism novel written by M.O. Yen. Set in China from the 1920s to the 1970s, the novel plays with time, non-chronologically telling the story of three generations of the Shandong family as they transition from sorghum winemakers to resistance soldiers during the Second Sino-Japanese War. M.O. Yen, which translates in English as Don't Speak, is the pen name of Guan Moi. Yen won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2012, and Red Sorghum is typically considered his best novel. It was adapted into an Oscar-nominated film in 1987. At the story's opening, Commander Yu prepares his soldiers to attack the invading Japanese army. However, as his wife makes her way through the sorghum fields with food for the soldiers, she is shot and killed by the Japanese. Her death forges a link in the novel between the past and the present. As the story progresses, the unnamed narrator, the grandson of Commander Yu, reminisces about the history of his family and the conflicts they participated in during the war. He describes how his grandmother was forced to marry the son of a rich distillery owner. Because his grandfather, who was a bandit, had already fallen in love with her, he murders the distillery owner's son. Thus, his grandmother takes over the business, and the narrator recounts in another memory the reasons why their wine is so good. The narrator's memories are clouded and detached with a fable-like quality to them. At one point in the story, his grandmother's body is removed from the mass grave to be given a proper burial. The narrator describes her body as still being as lovely and as fresh as a flower, yet also notes the disgusted expressions on the soldiers' faces as they see the state of the corpse. The funeral is then interrupted by a strange visitor who arrives riding a mule. Yet before the mystery of his presence is ever explained, he meets his end in a brutally graphic fashion. Although the story leaps wildly through time, the book nevertheless proceeds smoothly. The narrator often assumes the viewpoint of other characters, and even some animals, and his memories cover many violent events. Floggings, murders, and rape are all recalled during the progression of the book, but Yen writes it all with a beautiful yet terse lyrical quality. Even before the war, life in the family's home village is both terrible and magical. There are bloody injuries, robust, sometimes incestuous, sexual encounters, and animals that harbor the power to either help or harm. Yet through it all, the red sorghum plant acts as an anchor, providing food, wine, shelter, and consistency to the people of the village. However, because the grain of the plant turns red when it is ripe, the narrator describes it as a sea of blood. It also symbolizes violence in the cycle of life. Early in the novel, the narrator's uncle Arhut is flogged and then skinned alive by the Japanese for being a saboteur. Because the tale proceeds in a non-linear fashion, the reader is later exposed to Arhut's life several times. This lends an extra layer of meaning to his shocking death, though not always a tragic one. For example, in one scene, he is described as stabbing a mule with a spade. The narrator recounts Arhut's death two times, once portraying him as a hero, another time portraying him as a fool yet both are presumably true. Contradiction is heavily present throughout the narration. Commander Yu is both cruel and pure-hearted. The narrator both loves and hates his home village, which is located near the Yang of White Horse Mountain and the Yin of the Blackwater River. Color is another important element in the novel. In addition to the red sorghum, the narrator describes milky water, black soil, blue sky, etc. Green, in particular, is portrayed as loathsome. It is connected with stagnant lake water, as well as an important element in the book's conclusion. As time passes, and the people join together to fight the Japanese, the story reveals that they spend equal amounts of time battling each other over resources, such as weapons, food, and the red sorghum. This behavior is mirrored in a scene in which some of the family members try to cull a pack of dogs, which includes some of their household's former, dogs that have taken to eating the bodies of people killed in battle. However, the dogs begin fighting amongst each other and effectively cull themselves. But the dogs, and the cannibalism they represent, are a reoccurring theme in the book. Just as the dogs ate human meat, so do the men kill and eat the dogs. They also wear dog skins as protection against the winter cold. As the novel concludes in the 1970s, the narrator returns to his family's burial site to pay his respects. Once there, he sees that the talisman of his family, the red sorghum plant, has been choked out by a green hybrid version, symbolizing loss and change. 
I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.